Hello and welcome to ep 3 of my room redo series where I transform my room on a budget into my dream bedroom. If you missed the previous two eps, we'll make sure you click up here to check those out first. Today's video is another DIY. I will be creating a no-sew upholstered bed head for just $10. Yes, this literally cost me $10. I first looked at buying one and I couldn't believe how expensive they were. I knew I could make one myself for cheaper, so that's what I set out to do. I'm Ellie Wilder and you're watching Wilder in Motion. If you've never seen my face before, well my name's Ellie, I'm from Sydney and I love all things creative. I'm at the very start of my YouTube journey, so subscribe if you want to come along for the ride. Now onto the DIY. First up, you will need a piece of wood that matches the size of your bed. Now you can get these for free on the side of the road. I used a piece of scrap I already had, or you can get wood very cheaply at a recycle yard. Now I decided on a curve design, and here's a quick tip for getting a symmetrical curve. Mark the middle of the wood, draw the curve you want on one side, trace that onto a piece of paper, cut the paper out, flip it, and then trace the curve onto the other side of the wood. I cut out the shape with a jigsaw and then sanded the curve smooth. For the cushioning, I used these old cushions that I already had. You could use any kind of foam, wadding, cushioning or an old doona cover if you've already got one lying around. Otherwise, I noticed Kmart sells light doonas for $8 so you could easily use a couple of layers of that. I secured the cushioning using a heavy duty stapler. You could also use tacks or a nail gun. The fabric covering was one of the few things I bought because I really wanted this specific colour to match my room. I got 1.5 meters for $10 from Spotlight and I used about half a meter. I wrapped the fabric around the cushioning and used the stapler to secure to the back. I then trimmed the excess fabric and used some tacks for reinforcement. Now you could stop here if you wanted a smooth headboard look, however I wanted a diamond button pattern on mine. So I marked 14 centimeter intervals. I then hammered a nail with a washer around it into the wood to create these dimples. Next, it's time to add the buttons. You could use any you like. However, I decided to make some matching ones. There's no point purchasing expensive custom cover buttons. I simply rated my stash for buttons the right size and then used PVA and hot glue to secure a piece of fabric around them and then more hot glue to attach them to the headboard. I decided to revamp my existing bed frame to match the new headboard. I cut off these little banisters, applied some stain blocker and went over that with a few coats of paint I had left over from my dresser. I then went over the top with some gloss spray. This cost about $7 and I still had enough left to paint another piece of furniture which will be the focus of Ep4. And then it was as simple as attaching the headboard to the frame and I was done! I was so happy with how this turned out, especially considering I've never done upholstery before. This looks just as good as those $300 ones and certainly I saved a lot of money. It only took me one afternoon and even if you have to purchase most of these items, it would still cost you well under $50. And the other benefit is you can do the exact design you want to match your room. My full room reveal is coming at 5 so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. I hope this has inspired you to go out and give it a shot. This is a quick and easy DIY anyone can accomplish in a couple of hours. Thanks for tuning in to another video and if you want more, make sure you like, subscribe and I'll see you next time.